Hey everyone, so today we're back with a video that includes self-care, a shower routine, and woman hygiene. So we're going to get straight into it. As you can see here, I'm using the Lemon Bar Exfoliating Body Polish. It is a two-in-one because it cleanses and it exfoliates at the same time. I'm going to be using an exfoliating mitten just so I can really rub off the dead skin and make sure it exfoliates really really good i feel like the hand just doesn't do enough so definitely add this into your routine and you want to make sure you get your back your whole entire body should be exfoliated and then i'm going to go in with the black soap definitely helps with body acne and face acne i'm going to be using it for my face and my back i use it for my back and chest because when I do wash my hair in the shower, the shampoo and conditioner can clog your pores and yes, it'll result in you getting acne on your chest and back. So the black soap will help prevent it and get rid if you have any. And then I'm going to go in with the Eco Dry Brush. This is for the back, ladies. If you don't have anybody to scrub your back, <laughs> you can use this and definitely will help exfoliate and remove all that excess dirt, bacteria, and oil that's on your back that you can't reach with your hands. So definitely invest in one of these. gonna go with this all natural yoni wash which i got from earthly alternative i believe that's the name because she did switch it but yes it is amazing for your kitty cat it leaves it fresh then we're gonna go in with the native body wash i like to do a double cleanse i use the black soap from my business and then i go in with native it doesn't have any harsh chemicals so i'm okay with using that i just like to go in with the double cleanser something that's more like fruity scented and yeah Then I'm going to go in and shave my underarms. There wasn't much there, but I definitely had some stubs going on. We have to get it all nice and smooth. And then we're going to go in with the papaya turmeric mask. If you suffer from dark underarms, let me tell you, this is what you need. Literally use it two to three times a week, up to 10 minutes in the shower. Just let it sit there, marinate, and it's going to lighten up your underarms with the turmeric and the kochic acid. My arms used to be way darker than this, and I've been doing this ever since I've made the product. And look at my underarms now. Then you're just going to rinse it off once your 10 minutes is up. And then now that we're all done with the shower, we're going to go into the skincare. Y'all, I did my hair last night and it poofed out when I was in the shower. So we're just going to throw that little headband on and call it a day. Then I got these little wristlets from Amazon so that the water doesn't drip down my arms because I completely do not like that at all. Then we're going to damp our face with some nice lukewarm water and go in with the black soap. As you know from my previous video, I mentioned that I burned myself with the flat iron on my face and I had this stubborn scar that just is taking its sweet old time to disappear. But with my products, it has tremendously lightened up. So I'm just continuing to do my skincare with my products. Then I'm going to dry off my face with these towelettes that I got from Amazon. Please, ladies, do not use your towel or your rag. It has bacteria on it. You need something fresh and clean. Then I'm going to go in with a toner from e.l.f. just to wipe off any excess bacteria, dirt, or oil that the cleanser may have not gotten. And this also helps with the dark mark as well because it's kind of like an exfoliant. And of course, I would be clumsy and do that. Then we're going to go in with the papaya turmeric mask. And then we're just going to put that all over the face and allow it to sit up to 10 minutes. And then you're going to see the magic glow. 
and while that is sitting on my lovely skin i'm going to use the steamer i got from amazon and we're just going to open up them pores and allow the mask to deeply penetrate in my skin and suck up all of that goodness Then we're going to rinse off and if you have a little bit of residue from the turmeric that is totally normal again if you just re-rinse your face it'll come right off or just get a, a face towel at and it'll literally wipe off and then your skin is going to be glowing then we're going to go in with the kayomi serum this is a serum infused with caladula flowers which is known to have a lot of healing properties for the skin so I'm just going to lock in the moisture with it. It literally has been helping with my scar. It helps with my dry skin. It also helps with eczema, psoriasis, rashes. The list goes on. Then we're going to brush our teeth. Then we need to floss. Do not miss this step. I carry like a couple in my bag every day. So after I eat, I floss. I have an OCD with it. Like I eat, I floss. I eat, I floss. <laughs> I do not play. The amount of food that gets stuck in your teeth ladies then you need a metal tongue scraper because the bacteria in your tongue that that's probably why you have bad breath you gotta you gotta scrape it off i didn't even show you because listen <laughs> then we're gonna go with the laneige lip mask to get these lips nice and plumped and soft and then we're gonna go in with the gusha i know i'm pronouncing it wrong and the jade roller oh my god i have such a new york accent i just heard it <laughs> We're gonna roll because I um, wake up with puffy face and when I gain weight, the weight goes to my face. So I need to get my face snatched and my jawline, it's like disappearing. I don't know what is a jawline anymore. So I do this. Don't know if I'm really doing it right, but it kind of helps. I've seen a difference. And then I'm literally falling asleep right here because this is therapeutic. Then we're gonna get the cheekbones snatch it up this also helps with smile lines i do have permanent deep smile lines because i guess i'm just so happy <laughs> but um yeah this kind of helps bring back the weight of my cheeks which push down to make the smile lines prominent so we're trying to snatch it back And you also want to do this when you apply oil. You don't want to do it on dry skin. SPF ladies, do not forget to put your SPF. I don't want to hear because you are black or whatever the case is. We all have to use it, especially as black women. We have to use it. If you're going outside, you need it. Listen, it will prevent hyperpigmentation. If you have scarring on your face, it will not get worse unless you put your SPF on it and rub that thing and put it on your neck put it on your hands you don't want wrinkles you want to be youthful for as long as you can and then we're going to go in with a witch hazel this is a pro tip to keep down there smelling fresh ladies on the crevices put the witch hazel on the crevices with a cotton pad use two different ones because you need one for the front and the back okay there will be no scent for the entire day then we're going to go in with the body butter I don't have this on the site right now in stock because it is summertime and it does melt so it will be back for fall but listen if you got your hands on one of these you know if you know you know it will have your skin feeling baby soft then we're gonna go in with the lemon bar body oil smells delicious when I tell you delicious and we're just gonna seal in that moisture with the oil all over your body and it's gonna you know you're gonna be glistening Now we're gonna go in with the Valentino for the smell good. Listen, this right here smells so good. And tap, ladies, don't rub, tap, 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 tap. Trust me. And then get the ankles, if you know, you know. Then we're gonna go in with this Autumn Creations lip oil. Love this. This is another small business. This oil is amazing. The bottle is like pretty much empty and I need to order another one. Then we're going in with some Q-tips. Ladies, clean your ears, please. <laughs> Whatever, however you do it, clean it. And then it's a little trick. 
you're gonna go in with some witch hazel and get behind your ears i know a lot of people forget that part and if you wipe there and you see what's on that cotton pad you'll be in for a surprise so do not forget that area please and then you just clean it up clean your ear holes your earrings everything because there's a bunch of bacteria you want it gone and that's pretty much a wrap Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.